Before we start, I would like to recognize our parade grand marshal, Lori Patton, president of Middlebury College. There she is over by the old Cadillac. We will begin our ceremony with the Seth Warner and Hannaford Volunteers Fife and Drum Corps playing a tune. And off they go. <laughs> Thanks to the Seth Warner and Hannaford Volunteers Fife and Drum Corps. Now playing the Star Spangled Banner is the Middlebury Union High School Band. Thank you students from MUHS, and I know you're off to Virgin, so have a safe trip. Here to lead us in prayer is Reverend Jill Colley Robinson, pastor at the United Methodist Church. Let us pray. God of freedom and hope, as our nation pauses today to remember those in the military who have given their lives for freedoms we enjoy. We pray you would have us all look to you for strength, comfort, and guidance. We thank you for giving us this beautiful opportunity to honor the men and women who so bravely served this country in the past, as well as those who do so in the present. We ask you to bless and strengthen those brave souls who even now selflessly give of themselves without asking anything in return. 
Be with all who serve in our armed forces. Bless them and their families. Grant your loving protection. Let peace prevail among all the nations, O God. Especially let your mercy rest upon our land, even as we acknowledge with thanksgiving your past blessings upon this country. If it is your will, preserve the lives of the men and women in uniform as they defend our citizenry. We pray that you would grant to all, military and civilian, the peace that passes all understanding. We remember that there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. In this greater love, we hope and pray. Amen. Thank you, Jill. The St. Andrew's Pipe Band will now play Amazing Grace. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Axel Tabor from the Bridge School. Axel will recite the Gettysburg Address. Gettysburg Address. President Abraham Lincoln, November 19th, 1863. Four score and seven years ago, our, father, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great, great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot ha hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little nor, no, nor long, re long remember what we say here, but it can, it can never forget what they did here. It is for us living, rather, to be dedicated here to, to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. And found at Staff Sergeant Robert Douglas Stone of Salisbury, Vermont, during his second tour in Vietnam, died on July 21st, 1968 when the helicopter in which he rode was shot down. His death came two days following his 26th birthday. He is buried in St. Mary's Cemetery. Army First, Classes, First Class David Allen Brelia 
of her gens died at the age of 19 on June 11, 1967, in combat along with two of his in infantry comrades. He is buried in, in the Shoreham's Lakeview Cemetery. This holiday weekend and all, on all national holidays, our local military Rotary Club places American flags throughout town. A special interest are the flags in Cannon Park, which contain plaques honoring by name individual veterans. I invite you also to visit Cannon Park and read the names of the approximate 75 plaques there. American flags with multiple stars and stripes of red, white, and blue remind us of the diversity of our nation and our goals of tolerance, unity, and, inclusive, and inclusiveness during war and peace. Men and women now serve together. Sexual orientation is no longer a barrier to enlistment. In our current volunteer military, welcome our residents from all 50 states and five territories, representing all religions, varied economic, social, educational, and professional backgrounds. These wide-ranging individuals come together to serve their nation. Current returning vet veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan who, like us, have differing views on the goals and conduct of the wars, are united in support of those with whom they serve. The benefits of knowing American men and women from different backgrounds and cultures, and their new friendships with citizens of countries where they were stationed and for whom they seek democracy and an end to authoritarian rule. During this Memorial Day weekend, as you reflect upon our country, honor those who serve in its defense, acknowledge their supportive friends and families, and please take time over the summer to visit the memorials I have just outlined. Honor and help as best you can those who as a result of their service were injured and struggle, struggle physically and mentally. I also ask you to support those currently serving in the military. I will be thinking of my great grandnephew, Second Lieutenant Gregory, Ian Gregory Campbell, a graduate of Mount Abe, who is at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, serving with the 1st Brigade Combat Team of the 82nd Airborne Division. Many thanks to you all for attending this memorial service. Thank you, Bill. Joining us now from the Bridge School is Jake Mitchell. Jake will present the World War I poem in Flanders Field. In Flanders Field Poem um, In Flanders Fields the poppies blow Between the crosses, row on row That mark our place and in the sky The larks still bravely singing fly Scarce heard amid the guns below We are the dead, short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high, if you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields. Excellent job, Jake, thank you. The American Legion and Auxiliary Honor Guard will now present the memorial wreath.
Reverend Robinson, please lead us in a closing prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, for those who have sacrificed themselves and given their lives for the sake of others, we lift up our thankful hearts. For the dear friends and family members whose faces we see no more, but whose love is with us forever, we lift up our thankful hearts. We hold them in continual remembrance and ever think of them with you in that city whose gates are not shut by day and where there is no night. Almighty God, save your people and bless their heritage. Have mercy on us all and bring us courage, integrity, and liberty in all times and in all places. Amen. Thank you all for joining us today and taking time to honor and remember. Well done, everybody. Good job. Good job. Good job.